Good afternoon, everybody. So, my name is Mimi, and if you don't know me, I also stream on Twitch as Mimi the Vixen. Um, and usually I stream uh, games like Apex, Teamfight Tactics, Valorant, you, know, you name it. I probably played it or didn't, who knows. But today I decided to do something else. I'm going to do a reaction video. And I have done this in the past, but not with this. So if you know me, then you know that I am a hairdresser as a profession. And uh, I absolutely love my job. I do it full time. That's why I don't stream as often. I figured, you know what? Let's just react to people fucking up their hair. You know? Yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's react, shall we? Up. This is what happens when you bleach your roots at home without any experience. I already had my 34th meltdown. My hair. <gasps> no! This is how much came off. Honey, what did you do? Yay. Well, I guess it's time for me to go bald. Goodbye, long hair. Wait, you're gonna... She's gonna cut it off. I mean, she, she she has to. She doesn't have a choice at this point. What the hell? Why? JK. Just getting. No, you have shoulder to get it length. Off. It's hat season, baby. I'm literally crying over my nails right now. Because they're so ugly. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got! That's me. Okay. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yeah, it is actually true. So, very tight, high ponytails are really bad for your hair. You either lose your hair, or your hairline just goes all the way up until there's no hairline anymore. It is not good. If you are wearing too tight ponytails, please stop doing that and take care of your skin. Please. No, dude, what do you do? No, 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 no. So this happened in school today. I don't get it, but I don't know. Box braids. I don't know what happens with them. <gasps> Why are you doing this to yourself? Oh my god. Yeah, we don't need the merge uh, commercial. We're just gonna skip through that. All right, let's let's go. My dad do hard looks. I dig up my life. They won't even move. Okay, now this is something that most people who get new dreadlocks and never had them before or don't have experience with them don't know. In the beginning, they will look like this, they won't move and it's because they have to be so tight in order to look good and to look pretty um, that they need a bit of time to adjust to your hair and to your natural habitat, to be fair. So this is basically normal. But I get why you're upset. I, I get it. I get it. You look like a tree. Always catch text before dying hair. Was that an allergic reaction? Wait, I have to turn down the volume of this for a second. It's way too loud. What ha What the heck? We're sorry, Raimondo. Oh, oh, I think that's... <gasps> no, 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 that's Ricky. my fault! Stop, what? don't! Oh. That's too oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna be bald. I'm gonna have to shave my fucking head. <laughs> Look at this! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's your own fault. Why so much? Why the fuck would you do that? 
Turn it into a mullet. <laughs> At least she can laugh about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can make this work. straight now but it's not it, it doesn't look straight at all cut. here no <laughs> here maybe who knows it's way too tight to your head mm, it's a bit that's a bit short but yellow it'll grow back oh. and it's the wrong shears you're using the wrong shears should i just finish like that probably yes <laughs> i mean you could actually rock the short bangs Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I love her. Her accent is awesome. But it's not it's not straight. What do you think? Up in the time and I heard that that was ugly. Came from a bitch who nigga wanna fuck on my Drop the bass, main and bass, get lower. Radio say speed it up. I just go slower. Highlight. I don't know what she's going for here. <laughs> what is she going for? I'm literally crying wow. over my nails right now. Because they're so... Okay, I want to see this because I love doing wedding hair. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, that's not this that hard. This is what I wanted, that okay? Is this is the pastel. That's, that's the easiest you could do. And this is what I got. Oh, oh guys. Wow. Uh oh, guys! Uh oh, guys! Oh! If I just do the other side, I'll have bangs. Free curtain bangs. A tutorial by me. <laughs> so bad. Okay, I at least have to even it out. Hello? I can just never leave anything alone. I will never learn to leave anything alone. And you know what? Yeah, I, had a to... I had a bad. You have to learn to leave it alone feeling about buying this hair dye. But have I ever listened to any gut feeling I've ever had ever? No! That's why I've been in five car accidents. Uh, I look like my name is Bradley and I go surfing. I I'm gonna walk around like this? I'm just supposed to go out in public? Looking like a fucking Barbie doll that yeah, was you, in the wrong place at the wrong yourself. time when a toddler learned how to use scissors. I know I pissed off God real bad in a past life. Actually, I can't even blame it on that. I'm just too fucking stupid. No. No. Okay, so this has never happened to me, but I used to have this colleague that it happened to, and she was just done with her education, and uh, she didn't clip it on correctly, the clipper, and so it fell off, and it was like bald in the back of the head. Now, if it's in the back of the head, you can still fix it. Everything is fixable, except for this. This is not fixable. He just has to go bald, and it's too bad, because this isn't supposed to happen, especially on top. So what I tend to do is when I have my machine with my clipper, I make sure that my index finger holds the clipper on the thing and that my thumb is on the eraser, uh, sorry, razor. And then I go in, you know, just to make sure that, um, well, it doesn't fall off. I really thought I did something.
this did not give what it was meant to give. What in the Lord Farquhar? Hmm, it's not that bad, it's fixable. Instant regret. <laughs> it's not that bad. Not me still trying to save it. But I think she probably wanted to go for like the voluminous front side. And for that she would have needed a way bigger role. But it's not that bad actually. Okay. That's pretty. So what did you get? I want to know what you got. This is exactly why you need to do your own research before choosing your stylist. This client got extensions done at a different salon about two months ago and came in because they were starting to bother her. And as you can see, all these little white dots next to the extensions are unfortunately all pieces of her hair that have been ripped out from the root. This is us removing the extensions and she did lose. What kind of extension are those? I've never seen extensions we put in with an elastic usually you have a bead or like a waxine or a clip in or a flip in but not no i have never seen this before i don't know if there are any other hairdressers out there who who know what this is i've never seen this before i don't think that's a thing no quite a bit of hair. Thankfully, she had enough hair left over where it's not going to be noticeable damage. Unfortunately, the damage had already been made and we were just removing the extensions, so no further damage would be made. A lot of the extensions were actually fused together and they were just improperly done. She had horrible amounts of tension where there was hair being pulled in several different directions in order to fit into the extensions. This extreme tension is what caused all this damage done to her root area. Extensions can be really fun when properly done please do your research here are the extensions that we pulled out and her hair that yeah okay well that was intense <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that was intense but i actually like hair fills i don't know i i kind of feel like i have to help people i have to make them understand more that they don't have to try anything at home so yeah thank you all so much for watching I will see you next time with some more hair fills if, if, if I keep liking doing this. And um, well, subscribe to my channel. And um, if you want to talk to me, you can drop by my Twitch channel. I stream at least every Monday and sometimes on Sundays. See ya. Bye.